What's going on YouTube, Uberman here. Today, we're gonna to be doing a review of the Van True On Dash R2 Car Dash Cam. This is a 2K Full HD single lens. This is not a dual lens, this is a single lens unit with a nice size screen on the back. And uh, this will hold up to a 64 gig card. And believe me, guys, uh, recording in 2K, you're going to want a 64 gig card. I purchased mine. There we go. Uh, these things are like 20 bucks, man. So, you know, go ahead and buy it. And then on top of this, I also purchased the uh, GPS mount. Uh, the GPS unit has not arrived yet, but uh, I've already got one in one of my other cars. And the thing works great. You know, it gives you uh, latitude, longitude, speed. Um, Perfect. Love it. So let's get to unboxing and reviewing this. All right. Now to the good stuff. The device itself. Here she is. All right, let's pull off these uh, protective covers. Got one more back here. All right, and we're going to set this to the side for just a moment. Pull this out. We should have some accessories down here. Here we go. Got our power cable, exactly like we did in the last one here. We've got our USB file transfer cable, just like we did in the last one. And last but not least, we have our window mount exactly like the last one and just like the last one it will attach in the exact same manner as before snaps on boom just like that you can adjust it push button tab on the front here push it camera pops right off so first thing you're going to want to do is probably put your micro SD card in and it looks like over here we have a uh, little HDMI port. We've got a USB cover right here. You pull this up. You've got a mini USB port right there. Um, you've got your AB AV right here. You have a dedicated snapshot button right here, which I think that's pretty cool. Um, in case there's something you just want to take a picture of while you're driving, boom, push it and take the picture. Over here, you have the power button. And looks like on the bottom there's really nothing. There's nothing on the front other than your infrared sensors. So let's go ahead and slide in the micro USB card, which I have right here. Let's see if we can figure out which way the thing goes. Looks like it's going to go in like this. It clicks. Then we can push the power button, see if it'll even turn on or if it needs a charge first. Looks like we're going to have to give it a little bit of juice. All right, guys, so we've got it set up, and I wanted to go over some really quick menu functions just to show you how this thing works. You've got a battery light indicator right here that shows that it is charging. Um, you've got your SD card indicator right here, mic indicator letting you know that the mic is on, and that double arrow right there means it's in loop mode. Um, on the right side, you have your menu and OK button. On the left side, you have your toggle up and down. So it's pretty simple. You go into the menu, select whichever menu you want using your tactile buttons. Hit OK. We can go into resolution. And at this point, you can use this to change it. I've got it set to max 2560 by 1080, 30 frames a second. All right. Scroll down to video quality. We've got super fine is what I've got it set on. All right, we're gonna back out of this and we're gonna go over to system setup. We're gonna set okay. 
going to scroll down we got language time car number auto lcd off uh this back panel here this back screen will turn off after about three minutes is what i've got it set for uh 60 hertz is what i've got it set at we have firmware version default settings look at this guys this is i love this all right Go back into your record settings, scroll down, parking monitor, G sensor, WDR, I'm not sure what that is. We've got our mic on and off. You can use stamps, timestamp, date stamp, all that stuff. Contrast, sharpness, white balance, exposure settings, power off delay. All right, so you've got plenty of options here, guys, when it comes to setting up this camera exactly how you want it. Now, with that being said, let's take it on the road and get some footage.
All right, guys, so that is the Van True R2 2K dash cam. Um, I've been using it for several days now. That's why I'm wearing something different now than I was wearing when I first started this video. Um, it works great. It's good in the heat. It's good in the sunlight. Um, there is some reflection of the dashboard, as you can see in the footage, but that's been with every camera so far. Uh, low light conditions seem to work very well. Um, it does an exceptional job in low light conditions. But when you, as you see towards the end of the footage there, when you get into almost no light conditions where there's nothing but your headlights, um, video quality goes way, way down. But again, this is something I've found to be true with every dash cam I've tried so far. Uh, I'm going to be trying out more cameras, but I'm very happy with this 2K cam. I, I really do like it. I think it's a uh, great value. I think it provides great footage, especially at 2K. Unfortunately, YouTube is probably not going to do the video much justice. Um, I spent a lot of time working on this video, editing and uh, recording, so I hope that you found it useful. And if you would like to purchase the Vantru R2, there will be a direct link in the description for you. It is a great value. It is a great camera. Um, I highly recommend it. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Be safe out there and Uber on.